wave. I'm really concerned because the first wave hasn't even been um, taken care of yet. No job, no income, and no hope in the middle of a pandemic. Just give us answers. Just give the people of Michigan answers. That's what these two mothers are facing. Sherry Yokely is from St. Clair County. She used to work in the automotive accounting industry, and now she could lose her own vehicle because she has no way to pay for it. She was laid off before COVID-19 struck the state and was receiving unemployment. Since August, I've only been paid one time for like three weeks. And after that, it went into a holding position that um, a manager needs to review it. So you get through to them and they tell you that it takes the managers two to three months to approve the benefits. So in the meantime, you have myself and God knows how many other Michiganders um, trying to figure out what they're gonna do. Yokely says she's been trying to work with her creditors so her home and her vehicle don't get repossessed, all while trying to find a new job. I mean, it's, it's a benefit that should be provided within a timely manner to everybody, regardless. Camille Weems, who lives in Saginaw, lost her job after going on medical leave. Weems was in the healthcare field for years. I received 16 weeks. I, I did receive 16 weeks. And then I just been short. I'm short 14 now. Weems is now struggling. She's wondering how she's going to get by with the holidays right around the corner. I've been working since I was 15. I'm raising my five grandchildren. Christmas coming up. You know, I'm not asking for a handout. You know, this is money that I worked for. You know, and I feel like they should give it to me or give me a reason as to why I'm not getting it. For weeks, I tried to get an interview with the UIA, and we finally got one with the new acting director, Lisa Eslin Olson. And the first question we wanted to ask is if anything's going to change for the thousands of Michiganders still waiting on their unemployment benefits. Well, we've increased our staff uh, by fourfold, so we have a significant number of more people who are able and available to help. Um, the residents of Michigan. Uh, so we have, we're meeting 90% of the call volume that's coming in right now. Uh, so it shouldn't be too hard for us to get to you. But that's not what we heard from Weems. She complained that sometimes she can't get through on the phone because there's so many other callers. And even when she does, she doesn't get paid. Although Olson could not address Weems or Yokely's specific cases, she was concerned about callers not being able to get through. So there shouldn't be a reason why she shouldn't be able to get through and hear from one of our operators. So um, I'm a little concerned about that in terms of uh, um, of how we proceed with that. Olson has only been in the position for about two weeks and was unable to answer every question. She says they're trying to improve the system and work with a software company to fix any delays. We've made significant changes to our website to make it easier for people to navigate and find out what they need to do. Olson admits it's not perfect and there's still lingering cases, but she says in time it will get better. But we have paid 96% of our claims. That doesn't help for those 4% that are still waiting to be certified and allowed payment. The 4%, like the women we talk to. Somebody needs to be held accountable, and, and that's the problem today. Nobody's held accountable. So I'm just in a tough situation, but I, I stay prayed up. I have faith. I have family, you know, so, it, but it's a hard situation. With the support, I'm Rachel McCreary with WNEM TV5.